Well, good to great transformations often appear dramatic from the outside. From the inside, they feel very natural and organic as they build momentum over time. Hence the analogy of spinning a massive flywheel. So imagine for a minute that you're looking at a massive flywheel mounted horizontally on an axle. The flywheel's 30 feet in diameter, it's two feet thick, it's 5,000 pounds, and your goal is to get this flywheel spinning. Well, naturally, any effort to get this thing moving is going to begin with a lot of effort with very little to show for it. But if you keep pushing in the same direction consistently over time, eventually it becomes easier and easier to get the flywheel moving. You begin to build real momentum. The same is true when it comes to business. As you remain committed to a very clear direction, it becomes easier to overcome organizational challenges around commitment, motivation, and even alignment. As people begin to see visible, tangible results, it becomes easier and easier for them to buy into the mission. Unfortunately, the comparison companies weren't able to build this kind of momentum. They spent their time and energy jumping back and forth between various strategies and ultimately falling into the downward spiral of the doom loop. This is where a company gets caught being reactive to past failures. So they don't have success in one area, so they try a new strategy or they promote a new leader or they make a new acquisition, but everything is reactive and they're not building momentum in a clear direction. And so it's very important to understand that the good to great framework, as important as each component is, ultimately the real strength comes in setting a very clear direction around the hedgehog concept and then steadily building momentum in that direction over time. 